Hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial on Informatica Data Director. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how match process work in IDD, that is Informatica Data Director. In order to demonstrate the match process in IDD, we have to create few of the tables. So for demonstration, I have created party table. It's a base object, base object party table which have the column full name, first name, last name and SSN. We have also created address table which has the address line 1, line 2, city, state, country and the relationship column such as party ID, address ID. So party ID is linked with the raw ID object of the party table. So that's very simple. Uh, we can see in the staging mapping also or I can show in the relationship. So you can see the party ID is linked to the party ID from the address table is linked to the row ID object of the party. So this is one thing. Once we have done with this configuration of the base object, we need to configure the match rules. So for the party uh, table, we have created match path which has the address. In the match column, we have selected address part one, as address line one as a uh, address part one, then the person name as a full name. So these are the two match columns we have. one. Out of that, the party person name is a fuzzy match key and the address part one is a fuzzy column. In the match rule, uh, we have again uh, search level typical and we have created one match rules. This time we'll just consider the person name fuzzy key for the demo. Address name, uh, we can add that as well if you require. For the demo, we are just considering person name. On the same line, in the address table also we have created match rules. It's not required to create address level, but if you're going to achieve the address matching in IDD, we have to configure the match rule for the address table as well. So we have created uh, one, uh, actually two match column. One is address part one, which is, uh, let me correct it. Address part one will, will have address line one and then we have the party id which is nothing but the party id here the address part one is a fuzzy column match rule set will have the match rules oh, and we have just considered the address part one that is the address line one again the search level is typical so we have to do this basic configuration let's save it it will regenerate the tokens it will give that pop up and it is got saved next thing is in the IDD so we have to configure the IDD in order to configure the IDD uh, we went to the IDD administration tool and we created one party sub uh, party application in IDD it has the subject area group called as party group also we created a separate party address group will not consider for the today's demo address group but the party group will be one which we are going to focus on inside party group we have the address as a subject area and this address subject area has a oh sorry customer subject area and this customer subject area has address as a subject area let's see what party group has so it is uh, based on the CBO party table and this is not a search only so this is a we can add or insert a record through the added application on the customer subject area so we can see it is based on the IDD package party put so we have to create this put package in the MDM hub so let me show you that party it is based on the party put put package if you go to the party so we have the IDD package party put which is the nothing but based on the party table we can query also so we can see so th on the same line we have to create the other packages also for the address we have selected this column full name first name last name SSN which will be displayed while creating or uh, searching record In the match configuration will select these two columns then um, we'll just save it 
for the address address is a subject subject area child which is of type one to many here you will see uh, the match path what are you configured in the MDM hub, MDM hub. so ADDR is coming from the MDM hub if you go to the base object of party table and go to the match and merge setup in the path you have mentioned ADDR if you change this name in the IDD also it will get changed so right now we are able to see ADDR we can select the column from that package this package is nothing but uh, IDD address package and once you select we have to click OK and save the configuration after that generate uh, click on the generate entity schema so this will push the schema into the C repos COCS config repos table and then we will just validate so that everything will be fine or not to check that click OK and you can if it is the first time you are doing you have to uh, do the full deployment but if you already done that just clear the cache for safer side and redeploy once we are done with that just click on this link so it will open the IDD application and you will see the party group as a your subject area group inside the create in data view you have to just select create master data as we know the customer subject area is a putable subject area or we can add or insert record so that is the reason you are able to see if it is just search only you will not able to see here just click on the customer and we are going to create one customer just type uh, any record I'm trying to uh, give the details of the existing record and we would like to show how the match works here let me give the address also one two three street So I am just entering the record detail. Based on the match column, it will try to search a record in the the uh, the database or rather I would say in the search token. So we have just applied it. We have not done the save button. As soon as we click on the save, it will take us to the matches section, which will show us what this current record is going to match. So I can say so when I click on the save button it is going to take us to the match screen and it will tell us what are the currently inserted record is matching with this uh, two existing records so you can see this is my current record with SSN 73477 which have the there will be there are two existing records which are having the different SSN let's check out some addresses also you can see the addresses are also quite matching so by that way we can conclude like uh, we can able to match the record now if you don't want to proceed this so what this option is so you can see here the create new customer even these records are same if you want to create a new record you can just click proceed if you want to cancel it you can cancel this so it will take us to the back screen so suppose there is some change in address I'll just update here and let's see how it works now it will up will click on the apply and save it so this time the address is slightly different but it is still matching why it is matching because it says it is matching on the the match rule set so IDL that is initial data load match rule set and the rule number one if you go to the party table and this is party table and if you go to the match rule set so this is ideal and we have only one match rule set and this is only based on the party name so that is the reason it is just uh, matching on the party name it is not considering the address that is important thing to note once we are done that suppose I still want to create then you have to just click the proceed button and that record will be created and it will be used now if you want to uh, create completely new record and let's see whether it is so I created one record just now which was having the matching candidate 
So let's create a completely new record, assume that it which is not present. Like suppose Jimmy Shelton. And let me get this Shelton here. Jimmy here. Shelton. You can give any SSN. Let me add some a different address in order to add the address just click on the plus sign here I'll give the unknown you can give any address etc and let's apply it and save it let's see whether it, this time it matches to any other record so now this time it is not taking us to the matching matches section the reason is this record is not matching this is only unique record in the system and this is matching based on the fuzzy party name so if you have the multiple columns to match then that will be considered so this is very simple and straightforward uh, one more thing uh, I just would like to show you if you go to the matches section it will show us so even um, we created a new record it still shows the matches section if you click on this uh, initial data load link and the rule number it will take us to a rule so it says the match a rule set name is ideal rule number is one rule execution is automatic match purpose is person name match level is typical and the rule definition so it is giving the rule definition as well if you want to merge it just select it for which record you want to merge so this your current record will be merged with this and the final record will be the having this SSN and this will be the output so you can just click action and merge so that record will be merged so you can see this is the final record you can see here some message also which gives some warning kind of thing the add merge has happened etc this requires the population also get configured right now we have configured the demo as a population you can see if you have any particular population file make sure you have the that file configured uh, kept at the appropriate location that is nothing but the inside hub cleans resources and there will be a match folder it should be present for example if you are using USA population then USA population should be present there so this by this way uh, we can say the match process work in the IDD so it shows in the separate section whenever you configure the match in your IDD application I hope this tutorial going to help you to understand how match works in the IDD thank you again and have a nice time